<laughs> Harry was saying earlier, um, Peter, that, that when you did actually did the recordings of the of the Goonies studio, that you actually became these characters, um, Cron and people like that. I mean, were they were they real to you? Could you put a face on them? And well, I, guess, I think yeah, to yeah. all of us, you know, they absolutely lived. Mm. I mean, I remember how, uh, for example, I, I, you know, they they came about in various ways, as Harry was uh, was telling you. But I mean. One character, Ben Team, was forever telling people they were a genius. They were geniuses, you see. I don't know why he did this, but he, he'd say to anybody, you know, after a few minutes' conversation, you're a genius. So one day, you see, and, this, and they usually believe it, because Ben Team, you know, is the only one who's had any real education out of this room. And, and he went to Eton, he's been to Eton, you know. Oh, God. Do just to do the drains, Mike. But you... <laughs> and, he, and he was always telling. Was lovely, he was, yes. But, oh, yeah. But, I mean, he was, he was the one who sort of, you know, uh, been, he'd studied nuclear he physics and, uh, and uh, you know, all we could do was, you know, get through these three-letter words like cat and dog and it. And, and, anyway, we're a bit better than that after we'd had a course of um, Reader's Digest things, you know. Therefore and whatever. But, anyway, the wh therefore and whatever, yes. This fellow came over one evening, I'll never forget it. He was a tall <laughs> and wide. He wasn't fat, but he was sort of wide. And he was a, a, like a, dressed as a scout leader. In fact, he was he a was scout right. leader. <laughs> ben Team was appearing at Chiswick Empire, and I was at Shepherd's Bush Empire, which is now a BBC. Yeah, place. Did, yeah. So, and um, anyway, the door opened, and the fellow said, There's some stranger, a well, geezer out here. Well, I don't know what he says. Michael Benteen sent him along. So I thought, Well, I might as well see him, you see. So, um, anyway, this tall fellow, he got a little briefcase, and he got the scout hat, but he got a big red beard with all this. And, and, and red knees and socks and all the insignia, you know. And he said, and I'm not kidding, this is how he spoke, he said, um, could I come in for a moment, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. And I thought, my, what is this? Is this? So I said, I said, yes, certainly, please, what can I do for you? He said, Maka, I have just seen Maka Benteen at Chiswick. <laughs> And he said that I'm a genius. You <laughs> 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 oh, He must have been sent from heaven, Peter. Yeah, he was, you see. And then, so basically from that, then he went on to ask me about doing a concert at the Salgrave Road Boys Club or something, you see. So um, I said, no, I, you know, I don't think, you know, it's like Saturday night uh, after Saturday night. It was on the, uh, you know, after the show on Saturday night, I'd pack up my... Yeah, you know, it was the last thing I really wanted to do at that stage, especially if he was an example of what I was going to find down there. <laughs> so he said, uh, he thought he took this as a hint. He said, there, um, there is a fee involved. <laughs> so I said, no, it's not a question of money. I assure you, uh, really, I, I would come, but I just can't, you know, at the moment. So he stood there for a second. He said, oh, well, just a thought. <laughs> <laughs> He said, do you know anyone else I could see? So I sent him along to see him. <laughs> <laughs> and so he found our blue box. That's amazing. Yeah. It? It you got a the... big falsetto. And, I, you know, I think we added a little bit to it. But, I mean, it was mainly yeah, that. Yeah, a bit of the scale. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's have a look now. Oh. The, I mentioned earlier to both of you this uh, occasion when you got together. So they...